for India's role and in particular the leadership of Prime Minister uh, Shri Narendra Modi was deeply appreciated across by all the speakers. India's presidency would be the first ever G20 presidency perhaps that can claim to have captured the sentiment and views of the entire developing world. Uh, one thing which came across clearly during the summit was the need for articulating the voice of the global south in international institutions and for reforming them for a balanced representation of the developing world. This came out very strongly through the summit. In this context, I must mention that India's role and in particular the leadership of Prime Minister uh, Shri Narendra Modi was deeply appreciated across by all the speakers. It would not be incorrect to say that India's presidency would be the first ever G20 presidency perhaps that can claim to have captured the sentiment and views of the entire developing world, not just limit itself to the large economy's perspective. The summit, uh, as you can see in numerical evidence, received a strong positive response across the world. The final number of participation uh, would also tell you that almost all the countries accepted the invitation and participated in the summit. Participants during their interventions, during the course of the summit and across various sessions, thanked the Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, for his personal leadership, uh, which was instrumental in conceptualizing and crystallizing the voice of Global South at a time which is particularly difficult for the developing world, facing as it is uh, numerous challenges uh, of economic and political in, in across economic and political domains.